I don't know how. I don't even. I didn't have time to read through the paper extensively. But there's some weird story in the paper how Oprah on her website mm -hmm. had a gift certificate of some kind or a special offering for free Kentucky Fried Chicken. You know what? I saw that and I thought it was a goof. You know how sometimes they they use Oprah's name to sell everything. Right. And this time they said, yeah, Oprah at her website is giving away free coupons for uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken. Kentucky Fried Chicken. I said that's got to be another goof. And today I learned it's real. So when people went to Kentucky Fried Chicken, I think this is how the story goes. Correct me if I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. That when people went to Kentucky Fried Chicken to get the to redeem their Oprah coupons. I guess Kentucky Fried Chicken wasn't, some of the franchisees were not honoring the tickets, right? And I think some ran out of chicken. It was a, sort of the Popeye's thing again. They didn't have enough chicken. <laughs> and there was like near rioting. Yeah, well, they said no riots actually broke out, but things got tense. Yeah, that's my favorite clip. We should play that again. That was so cool. <laughs> Over at Popeye's Chicken, they, they did a similar offering, not through Oprah. And the, the people who went to Popeye's were just irate. It's funny to hear them so mad about yeah. not getting free chicken or reduced price chicken, I think, at Popeye's. Right. It was some kind of special meal. Yeah. You could feed everybody for $5 or something. Hey, J.D., where's that Popeye's thing in case anybody missed it? That shouldn't be missed by anyone. It's a Gary Pinch one and orange. Thank you. You can feed the whole community for five bucks. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> Gary Page one and orange. Not my community. <laughs> Oh, uh, you're, you're a hefty guy. Yeah, not five dollars. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Fast food chain Popeyes became a victim of its own advertising today. So many customers lined up for a big special. Some locations, including one in Penfield and the city, ran out of chicken. Tonight, customers were clucking their disapproval. Customers at the drive-thru heard this recorded message. One woman yelled back at the machine. People have kids that they're trying to feed for the special. And you mean to tell me that we can't feed our kids? Because y'all didn't order enough chicken. Y'all knew y'all was having a special almost two months ago. And that's wrong. But no one was listening. The Popeyes on Lake Avenue was closed by dinner time. Are you kidding me? I think that's bad because I'm sure hungry. No chicken. No chicken? Well, they just had a chicken. I said, I'm calling the customer service now to see where there's another Popeye's at. They always run out of food, sides, whether if it's mashed potatoes and gravy, coals, they always run out of something. It's very disappointing. I wanted some chicken today. <laughs> Other locations ran out of chicken, too. The $4.99 special, too good to pass up. I just left Penfield Popeye's. They were out of chicken there, so I ran to the city to this one, and they're out, too. This is ridiculous. They should have had a stockpile of chicken for this day. Oh. They should have had a tractor tail out back with extra chicken on ice, you know? <laughs> Maybe it was the economy that caused the rush on chicken. It's funny how that woman knows exactly what Popeye should be doing. She's pretty good. She should be running a restaurant. Yeah, why isn't she having, you know, she must run her own business. They should have had a tractor trailer full of chicken. Right chicken, out back. Chicken on ice. <laughs> I think I, what I like about this report so much, it makes it so funny, is that young anchor woman who the, the girl doing the report is so polished she's like many of the customers were very dissatisfied <laughs> after learning there would be no more chicken and then the guy it goes had the customers clucking clucking <laughs> and then you, you know and every word enunciated and then the woman comes on and goes we was waiting here for two months for this here chicken we got to feed our kids uh, they don't, they, you didn't know about this, uh, this promotion about a month, month ago the customers <laughs> But, but, but is this, first of all, is this an onion or is this a real story? Really? I mean, no. the woman really can't feed her kids because Popeye's is out of chicken. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Again. At their price in, the, in this day and age, you know, yeah, that is a good deal. Isn't that sad in this economy? People trying to spend money and they don't want it. I was trying to feed my family tonight. Can't get that bucket in now. Customers felt duped. I'm never coming back now. I'm serious. I'm done. But they got to get their stuff together. You know, they put their advertisements on and then they don't don't show up for it. I'm more disappointed than angry. You know, we've been looking forward to this day. They advertising <laughs> on, on national TV. How you going to run out of chicken? That's all I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I have to say. Yeah. Motherfucker. She can't believe 
that a company was mismanaged like that. Oh, <laughs> they do this all the time. That's the best line. They, they do them. this all the time. Run out sides. They keep going back, and Popeye did it to them again. Run out really? mashed potatoes and gravy. I was on the road once in the south, and I went in my hotel room. Popeye's is a weird company. They get away with, like, crazy shit, I guess, because it's so popular. The Popeye, I swear to God, this was the Popeye's commercial. About, like, ten years ago, in, like, Biloxi, Mississippi, or so, I was down there somewhere. They have the commercial, and the, the, the word Popeye's comes up, and out of the O in Popeye's comes a black guy. And the black guy goes, I love that Popeye's fried chicken. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was like a sketch or something. <laughs> and I saw the commercial. About, is he a cartoon guy? Or no, is it's he, a real guy. It's a real guy. And I saw, I saw the commercial about 52 times that weekend. <laughs> <laughs> you liked it. They spent a lot of money in advertising. Yeah, well. You love know. that Popeye's. Fried chicken. Popeyes came out of nowhere. It, was Popeyes originally paying the cartoon Popeyes for the name Popeye? I have no idea. I don't know. That's a good question. Because I don't know that Popeye has ever appeared with Popeyes chicken. Right. Could you uh, ask Lisa G to do a news story on that? Yeah. Could you look that up? Doctor Drew says Popeyes will fail in their next promotion. I'm looking at this Oprah promotion. It's really I love what they sell. What do they sell? Uh, what is it? It's a two-piece chicken meal with two sides and a biscuit. <laughs> two-piece chicken meal, two sides and a biscuit. Yeah. Wow. Can you get two fries if you want, or do you have to get coleslaw and fries? I guess you got to get two different sides, or uh, maybe you can get the same two sides, but I love the biscuit comes along with it. Well, know, with you know, that Oprah promotion, they did say that uh, you know things got a little tense because some people were told, yeah, they get out if they had coupons, coupons, and like 200 people showed up at the KFC with the coupons. You know, like they were overrun. With people for wow. this two-piece chicken meal. See, again, when I was stuck at the doctor's office for three hours the other day watching TV, I happened to see this episode. Right. So Oprah comes out. When I was watching it, I couldn't believe it because she kept saying, free two-piece chicken. I go, this can't be right because Oprah's talking to the whole world. So the big deal about it is is that it's the grilled chicken, Howard. Now, oh, uh, she's introducing the new the grilled grilling chicken. Because, of course, you can see Oprah's eating grilled chicken. Yeah. And, um, while and she, it's certainly good for you. But the funniest thing is, while Oprah's talking about it, I said, this has to be a goof. And they wheeled out this giant like dining room table with Kentucky Fried Chicken all over it. They just wheeled <laughs> it out behind her. And then Oprah just sits down. It was like the craziest sort of commercial. She ate the chicken? No, but she no. sat down at the table and she explained how now it's healthy and it's grilled. Well, it's really weird. Like they said, the racial epithets were flying <laughs> at the KFC where they were really? trying to, wow. yeah, redeem these coupons. Well, who was what calling who? Who was calling who? What is right? Uh, racial epithets were being spewed. People who actually wanted to pay for the chicken were facing a potential beatdown wow. from the free chicken people. <laughs> Free chicken people are dangerous. The manager ran <laughs> screaming from the horde. Wow. I, wonder what, I would love to hear what the racial epithets oh, were. I'm free chicken. You. It's two pieces of chicken. I mean, you could feed nobody. You right. mean the people who wanted free chicken were screaming? At the people who wanted to pay. And the pay people were screaming at the free people. Wow. And the manager just got out of there. Was it, was it uh, N-word type stuff? I would mm. imagine so. Wow. Over chicken. <laughs> what you paying for, nigga? Imagine there's a race riot in this country because of chicken. <laughs> what do you mean you're gonna pay for something? I want my free chicken. <laughs> what you what you mean you pay for something, Dago? Dago. <laughs> you ain't paying for shit, WAP. <laughs> so Fuck you, I'm paying you, you goddamn moon cricket. Think the racial epithets were flying. That's what it sounds like. Was that epithets or epithets? It's epithets, I think. Epithets? I don't even know. Because somebody wanted to pay for the chicken. I don't use the word epithets much. <laughs> Me neither. I don't think I've ever used it. This person says a small riot started going on outside the store with people screaming at the manager. What you paying for, nigga? They should have had a tracker trailer full of chicken. Right chicken, that. chicken on ice. We was waiting here for two months for this here chicken. We got to feed our kids. Uh, <laughs> they don't, they, you didn't know about this, uh, this promotion about a month, month ago.